I don't know why. I, I, there's a reason why I don't have an animal, and it is because I don't like cleaning up after things that don't eventually learn how to clean up after themselves. <laughs> that's a process. That's sure. That, that's, yeah, yeah, that's an but, issue. But. But. <laughs> yeah, I, I like my carpets to be fresh. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I uh, can't argue with you there. All right, you guys, we are starting off this morning in the 60s, some 50s in the northern spots, 8 o'clock numbers in the upper 60s, and then some low 70s as we approach 9 a.m. this morning, and then some 80s likely once we get into this afternoon. A little bit of fog to deal with in some spots, not in this shot, though, of uh, Vulcan this morning where we're seeing temperatures in the 60s in the Birmingham metro area. We're currently at 66 degrees here. Uh, you can see we've got 66 in Tuscaloosa, some 50s in the northern areas 57 in Gadsden and then we've got 62 in Anniston right now so it feels pretty good out there again it's mild it's going to be a little muggy today though kind of similar to yesterday we got to 84 degrees for the official high in Birmingham and I think we'll get into the mid maybe even upper 80s in some spots today 71 at 9 81 though at noon today 85 at 3 o'clock some low 80s at 6 and then we'll drop about 10 degrees by 9 o'clock later on tonight and about a 30% chance for a few widely scattered showers and storms this afternoon as temperatures start to heat up today. Uh, some of our northwestern spots could see even maybe a strong storm or two with some gusty winds. There's a look at our rain chances though through the rest of the week and you can see we'll keep it at about a 30% chance really the first half of the week and then a front looks to approach the area late Thursday into Friday and then that should drop our temperatures and at least our humidity briefly it looks like as we head into the weekend. So some mid 80s today will go with upper 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday, maybe even flirting with 90 degrees out ahead of that front on Thursday. And again, a few widely scattered storms will be possible through the first half of the week. And then you'll notice temperatures do drop a bit, at least the start of the weekend, a little less humid too. the weekend actually looks to be pretty nice. Harmony. Well, all right, uh, looking at the traffic maps right now, Stephanie said that most of that fog is located in areas of St. Clair County, so I put it over the 